Now then, so uh, what we're going to do today is the resist technique. Uh, we touched on it before in the speed drawing, uh, but I think it deserves its own little uh, its own little program because it's such a fantastic thing. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, a few pictures from Henry Moore. Now I don't have a book on Henry Moore, so I've just printed a few pictures off the internet, and uh, just so you've got an idea. Um, now the pictures aren't printed particularly very well because my printer's not brilliant, so we'll go to this. So they're a lot better. Now these pictures were uh, were drawn in the underground in London uh, during the Blitz. So people used to go down into the underground to get away from the bombs when it was bombing in the uh, in the war. Now as you can see, there's lots and lots of lands and stuff. The way he drew was very, very sculptural. This is a good one. This is people just laid about. And obviously it's dark in the underground, so these, these pictures are quite dark. Now these two pictures here, these are him doing some drawings for, uh, for what sculpture he was going to do later on. So he was working out how to get uh, what what to do with his stone when he was carving his stones because that's what Henry Moore is famous for is his, uh, his sculptures that look a lot like this but I, I really like Henry Moore's drawings more than anything else now so this is the one I'm, I said I'd, I'd keep till the end to show you because this shows off the what's called a resist technique really, really well. So as you can see from this this little bit here, look, can you see all the lots of lands? Now this is all done with um, wax crayon or or just a candle, and then he's painted over the top. But the paint hasn't gone where he's he's been using the candle. Now I think what he's also used on this is ink, but we're not going to use ink because we don't have any, so we're not going to use it. So what we're going to do to start with is I'm going to show you the technique. We're going to use the oil pastels. Now if you've got wax cranes, you can use those. Or later on, I'm going to show you how to do it with this. This is just a, well it's a tea light, but it's a very large tea light, but it is just an ordinary tea light. So the two things you really need is your wax, is your oil pastels, and your paints. Now your paints are a little bit different to mine but I, I don't have the same paints you have. So okay so let's let's get started. I'll just use the white which is a bit difficult to draw on white paper but you can just see it. Okay so I'm just going to try and do a wash over the top and we'll see what happens. Some more paint. So as you can see, look, everywhere where there was the oil pastel, the white oil pastel, it's stayed and the paint has gone in between. So we've, we've kept all these white parts. Now I think these work better if you've got just lots of lands. Okay, so I'll just mop, mop that up so it's got a bit more of a pattern to it. So I think that looks pretty groovy. Okay, we'll go to that camera I think for now. So I'm gonna show you this. If you just go around and squeeze all the edges and then you put it down and give it a good, and there should just pop out of those but be careful of these because these can be quite sharp on the edge it's only really thin metal but it can be really really sharp so be very careful with those and we're going to have a go let's see what happens 
So we'll Yeah. Now I can't actually see what I'm drawing at all with that. Okay, I don't know about you can't either. So let's have a look. It's quite exciting to see what's going to come up. Now, as you can see, that hasn't worked quite as well, but it's still quite nice. So this is the, uh, this is the difference between the oil pastel and the candle wax. So obviously you get a cleaner line with this one, but there's something really quite nice about um, the fact that it, some of the paint goes through that one. Really quite like that. So I'm going to show you what doesn't work, so you don't do it. Okay, so what we've been doing with the others is lots and lots of brands. So what I'm going to do is just literally colour in with it. So as you can see, the uh, oil pastels are mixing together. And I kind of like that technique, to be fair, where you get the, uh, the two colours that mix together. Especially if you do something like yellow and green, yellow and blue and the, uh, the ten green in the middle. Okay, so this one I've coloured in and this one I've done in lots and lots of little hands. So let, let me show you the difference in those. So can you see, uh, this, there's no paint in there at all, there's a little bit. It's just resting on the surface. Uh, there's no paint in there, but here we've got lots of lines and we can sort of say this is the shape of the body. Let's pull it down a little bit. This is the shape of what the body looks like. Um, now, this is the way not to do it unless you don't want any paint there. I mean, as you can see, that, that's all background now, whereas this is background and foreground. So, um, so... This is the way not to do the resist because it's too much, but it still looks quite groovy, doesn't it? I, quite, I, I like the idea that it, we can do that if we want to. But this is what we're going to try and do because this is more Henry Moore-ish. What we're going to try and do is we're going to copy sort of this shape here, or maybe something like this. We're not going to copy it exactly, it's just something similar to that. Now we're going to get started. And we're going to see how this how this works. So we've got that there. Keep that there. Remember, lots and lots and lots of small lines. Okay, right now I don't think you can see much of that. But what I'm going to do, because I did like the uh, where I coloured in, telling you how not to do it. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to make a heart there. I think uh, a piece of tissue of essential when you're doing this kind of work so if you look if you look down at this hat here so can we see that there yeah there's a, a big blob of paint where we don't want it. but because it's all waxy or oily underneath that won't dry so we need to take that away so if i just bah, with a piece of tissue can we can get rid of that all together i mean there is a little bit of left we could just wipe that off like that. Um, now again, we've got spots all over. But I'm going to just leave that to dry now. So we'll go back to you. I'll take my glasses off so I can see what you're doing. Uh, and we're just going to leave it to dry. Uh, and then obviously uh, I'll show you a, at the end of when it's completely dry. And... Um, 
possibly I might uh, get my pen once it is dry. I'll do little bits here and there, but I'm not going to be too um, too careful. I'm not because uh, I do have a tendency for liking to draw around things quite meticulously. So I'm I'm not going to do that with this. I'm just going to leave it and just um, and just maybe little just little black lines here and there just to just so we can see the, uh, the curvature and the and straight lines and things so yeah that's um, <clears throat> that's a resistance uh, obviously you can draw anything you like I just uh, thought it would be nice for you um, Henry Moore um, so yeah uh, like I keep saying just just have a go you never know what you're going to until you try it. So try and have a go. Thanks for viewing, viewer.